I swear you're just having a real bad dream Oh, you better shake and roll All right, lick number 18, chromatic idea. Here we go, from the four chord. All right, let's do it again. You ready? It's in the key of B flat, by the way. Here we go, from the four chord. Okay, so that one is uh, we're going from the four chord, which I showed in the other videos. If you can't see, man, yeah, maybe our position is not so great, huh? It's a little out of view there. The four chord, we got the you gotta get that little triangle shaped four chord, but we take this guy and we flatten him, so we're getting this note and this note. See, we get that. That's why it sounds so deep, so strong. The root, the root is here on the A string, so we're playing the fifth below it. It's a real heavy, thick chord. Only the bottom four strings, and then we go to the one. So. What that is, is minor third to root. Just one root. I think one time I played two there. But either way, you know, he played one. Now you go flat seven, fifth, flat five, fourth, minor third. I grab it down here because the next note is right. Fifth, flat seven, root. So it goes. Minor third, two roots there. So here it goes. It's all right there. You know, maybe you could grab that minor third down here. I mean, But you know, you don't really have to, right? If you're, if you're that, that against using the pinky, if your pinky's that weak, you could do it like that, where you just grab the minor third down, you go. thing at the end is root flat seven fifth back to the flat seven and I don't know I don't know if I heard this somewhere but I started checking it out I'm not not definite not sure on this but it's interesting because <clears throat> somewhere I think I heard someone say the flat seven when you end on the flat seven, it it signals change. Change is coming. So you go right, and now we go to the five. And other times when I notice in his solos, he'll play like, and then we go to the four. Right, he does this on the one. Four. So I started to notice this. I, I, I'm not sure if that's valid or what, but check it out. I, I got to go back and start looking at the licks. When you end on the flat seven, it signals a change, like the chord's going to change. Very interesting. I got to analyze that a little closer. But uh, anyway, we all know... Like the root symbolizes home base, you know. 
you feel like you're grounded when you when you end on the root. And all the other notes that we're dealing with have their little colors, their little personalities, right? So I don't know. Check that out. I'm going to start analyzing, going back and looking. If the flat 7 gives the feeling of change, change to the next chord, you know, something's going to change. Okay, so uh, again, I'll just go over this. What was it? Uh, you got, you got. So wait, we're coming from the four to the one. So right there, we're ending on the flat seven. And then the five comes. See? I'm going to keep track of that. All right. So anyway, that's another one in the, in the books, right? We'll go to the next example.